Hi guys! How are you doing? Check out who we have here today! It's our friend Elsa! And today we're going to dress her up as Vampirina! Hi Vampirina! Hi guys! How are you doing? Today we're going to dress Elsa up as you! We're going to give her your same necklace and dress and style her hair into ponytails! So here we go! As you guys know, we start by brushing her hair! First we're going to put her hair into a bun so that her hair is out of the way. See, this is a ballerina bun! Oh, you look great, Elsa! Okay, now we need purple paint and a little bit of water so as to dye her hair. Here we go. We have to dye all of her hair purple. We can't leave any blonde hair behind, okay? Here we go. Now a little bit more. It's harder to do when her hair is loose. Okay, and now over here as well. I love dyeing my doll's hair. It's so much fun. And now we use a smaller paintbrush to do some touch-ups and dye her roots. Don't worry if we get paint in her face because we can clean it with a baby wipe. See, it's just like going to the hairdressers. See, now we use a baby wipe to clean all of that paint. Perfect! You look great, Elsa! Okay, now we use a piece of EVA foam to make her hairband. See, we just fasten it back here. Oh, and remember, you can use different materials. It doesn't have to be EVA foam. Here we go. Perfect! All right. Now we use black cardboard and a pencil to draw hair bunches. See? These are shaped like bat wings. We cut them out and now we just have to paste them here. We just need a little bit of double-sided tape. See? Now we remove the film. And perfect! See? Now it doesn't come off. Now we use another piece of double-sided tape. Here we go. We remove the film. And now we paste the other wing. Perfect! See? It stays perfectly in place. Okay, now that we got her hairstyle down, we can paint her face so that she can have the same skin tone. Here we go. Just like that, we're using purple paint. All you have to do is use very little paint and use a semi-dry paintbrush. Here we go. We want to give her skin a purple touch, you know, so that she looks pale, like a vampire. Okay, and now her neck. All right, over here as well. See, it looks fantastic. Now we use a smaller paintbrush to paint her eyebrows. Here we go. Just like that. All right. Ooh, fantastic. Perfect! Wow, your eyebrows are beautiful! 
Right now, we're going to use a little bit of white paint. Do you know why? Because we're going to make pink paint. See, we can get the color pink by mixing the colors red and white together. See, now we're painting Vampirina's t-shirt. Because Vampirina wears a black dress with a pink t-shirt underneath. guys we could make it a little bit darker you know a darker shade of pink if you'd like here we go so you know don't worry if you don't have pink paint at home we can just mix the colors red and white and then get a brand new color here we go and now we need black paint to paint her dress here we go. Ooh, it's so pretty. Amazing. Oh, and we can't forget about the spiderweb pattern on her dress. We have to wait for the black paint to dry a little bit. Here we go. Now we remove the paint. Here we go. Just like that. We draw some lines and link them together. Ooh, do you guys like spiders? <laughs> okay, and now we just paint following the lines. Here we go. This is amazing, isn't it? Ooh, this pattern is terrific. Just like that. Okay, now over here in the middle as well. Okay, and perfect. <laughs> oh, and we couldn't forget about her fangs, of course. Ooh. Check out her vampire fangs. They're so pointy. <laughs> Isn't it great? Look, we also made her necklace. Fantastic. It's turned out great, hasn't it? We copied her hairstyle, her hair colour, her head skin and her outfit. We just needed some paint, EVA foam and cardboard. What do you think, Vampirina? It looks just like me! It stand out great! Yippee! Well, this is all for today. Bye-bye! See you soon! Hi, guys! How are you doing? Check out who we have here today. It's our friends Anna and Elsa from Frozen. And today, they're going to swap outfits. Oh, look at that! It's Anna and Elsa, only they've switched places. Yay! Well, here's how we did it. First, we're going to dress up Elsa as her sister Anna. So, we have to do her hair first. Elsa has blonde hair, styled in a long braid. So, we have to dye her hair orange and braid it into two braids. So, first, we have to brush her hair. See? This is a very important step. And now, we have to conceal her fringe. Just like this. See? And now we tie it back here. See? It looks great! Alright. Now let's braid your hair. Here is the first one. And now it's time to braid the other one. Here's how we do it. We divide her hair into three sections. And then we have to cross one section over the other. See? We cross the right section over the middle section and the left section over the middle section. And so on and so forth. And here it is. Check out her new hairstyle. Now we just have to change her hair colour. So we have to mix a couple of colours. We'll use the colors red, yellow and white. 
and we mix them together so as to get Anna's hair colour. Here we have it! It's quite similar, wouldn't you agree? And now we just apply it with a medium sized paintbrush. And now we just have to dye all of her blonde hair red. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, remember to leave one strand of hair undyed because that's a very characteristic trait of Anna's. And once we're finished, we give her some freckles. <laughs> See? We're using the color brown and a very small paintbrush. See? They're practically identical. All right, now we're going to make her outfit. Elsa's dress is blue, but Anna's outfit is black and purple so we need to flatten some black play-doh and cut out a long piece just like this one and now we adapt it to her body see we cut off the excess play-doh and put it away for later okay and now we add one piece here and adapt it to and now another piece on the other side. Ooh, it looks great! I love her black bodies. Right now we have to cut out this shape. Here we go. So that it looks just like Anna's. Okay, and now we add a small piece of purple play-doh. Okay. Great. Ooh, that's much better. And now we use some purple play doh to add the details on the sides. See? It's so cool. You guys can give it your own touch at home. What do you think? Lastly, we add a little bit of purple glitter. I think it looks great on the purple play doh. Check it out! She looks fantastic, Yay! but aw, the skirts aren't quite right. So, come on, use the folding screen. Here we go, we have Elsa and Anna, and now remember, you have to swap dresses, okay? Oh, fantastic, but, oh wow, Anna! I think Elsa did some magic and gave you one of her favourite dresses. And now Elsa is wearing your skirt. Well, Elsa's costume is finished, so now we're going to dress up Anna as Elsa. Because this isn't her sister's hair. We have to put it back right here. See? And now I'm going to give you a really cool tip so that we can make a really cool hairstyle out of play-doh we use a balloon to hide her hair here we go oh look at that it's fantastic and now they're going to use yellow play-doh to make her hairstyle here we go just like that and now we're going to make some yellow noodles <laughs> so that we can make her strands of hair. Ooh, check out those beautiful locks of hair. Amazing! Okay, now comes the final part, which is making her long braid. We use our hands to shape the play doh into noodles. Here we go. And now we just start to follow the same process as before. Here it is. Here is her Play Doh braid. Now we just have to place it on her head. Here we go. She looks just like Elsa. Oh my god. I love both your costumes. Fantastic! Oh, there's one little detail missing. 
Elsa's tiara. Now Anna gets to wear it. <laughs> I hope you guys liked today's video. Bye bye.